Hi, I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. A lot of cooks like to talk about how their mothers and grandmothers taught them so much in the kitchen. Well, that did not happen to me. The only thing I can remember my grandmother ever making was blueberry muffins and uh, bread shaped like an alligator because she lived in Florida. Now, my mother, everything she made was so basic because she did not like to be in the kitchen. Growing up, I thought salt and pepper were the only spices available. I thought spaghetti sauce came from a jar. I thought fruit came from cans. And boy, when they came out with TV dinners, my mother was thrilled because that was a perfectly balanced meal. Now, on the menu today is one of my mother's recipes. Now, before you hang up, let me just say that it's extremely simple, but it's probably the most complicated thing she ever made. And every now and then, it tastes fantastic. I'm just cooking up a one pound box of elbow macaroni. By the way, growing up, I thought there were two kinds of pasta, spaghetti and elbow macaroni. So this is just about done. So I'm going to take it off the heat and we're going to go rinse it in cold water. And this is, of course, so it won't stick together. And that goes in the great big bowl. And we'll bring it over here and I'm just going to add a few things. First of all, three or four stalks of celery. I'm going to de-thread it. So it's more tender. I'm going to chop this pretty fine. And I'm also going to chop up a little bit of celery leaf, just for excitement. Next I'm going to add two 7 ounce cans of albacore tuna in water that I've drained. I love albacore tuna as opposed to regular tuna. Regular tuna tastes like cat food to me. We'll just break that up a little bit. And then, four chopped hard-boiled eggs. Gotta have the hard-boiled eggs in there. About a teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon or so of pepper. And we'll combine all of that. And finally, about two cups of mayonnaise. And we'll fold that in. You know, looking at this macaroni reminds me of a childhood story. Starting at about age 12, the only time I ever went out to dinner with my family was on my birthday. And we always went to an Italian restaurant called Octino's. And I remember one time my younger brother said, I'll have the fillet mignon. But that was off the charts price-wise. So we had to order a pasta thing. And I'll never forget, one time I had lasagna. It was incredibly exotic to me. I couldn't believe it. It was delicious. Little garnish of tomato. You know, this dish actually has everything that I love in it. I love hard-boiled eggs. I love tomatoes. I love tuna fish. I love pasta. I love mayonnaise. And let's take a taste. For as basic as this recipe is, it really hits the spot. 
And of course, it takes me back to a much simpler time. And it makes me think of my mom. And this is probably the only recipe I got from her, but it's worth it.